Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Well, it's finally that time. Destiny Rising, or at least the pre-alpha, is finally out. And uh, it's honestly crazy that I'm already here talking about it. Um, I didn't think they are going to release it this soon, um, but here we are. And I can just say, I know I, I'm not going to go probably too in-depth with things, because I am still very much learning a lot of the mechanics, a lot of the stuff. Um... <clears throat> Still pretty early on in the game. I am at the beginning of Chapter 2, so not very far. Uh, but from what I can see so far, um, I've really been liking it. Um, definitely a very, very solid mobile game, uh, for what I've noticed. Um, at least going forwards, at least uh, for all the stuff that I'm talking about, do keep in mind it is a pre-alpha, which is a very early build of the game. Um, so honestly, when you take that into account, I am even more impressed with the state that this game is in. Uh, I will say, you know, visually and stuff, it's obviously not perfect. One, it's, you know, it's a mobile game, but two, it's, like I said, a pre-alpha of a mobile game. We're not even in beta yet, uh, so we are a long, long way away from the final launch of this game. Um, so I'm sure a lot of those things I'm going to mention later that they'll get tidied up, you know, and whatnot before the final release of this game. But going forwards, uh, just in case things kind of sound like they're all over the place, I don't really have a script or anything for this. I'm just kind of, I just got a short list here of some, you know, pros and cons, some bullet points here. Uh, just some stuff I want to talk about, um, you know, just things I've noticed so far as I've been playing into the game and whatnot. So to start things off, I do think one huge strength of this game early on that I noticed almost immediately is the gun feel, right? Everybody knows that Destiny is known for the gunplay, right? The gunplay, the abilities, all that good stuff. You know, most people, they love it. Bungie, that's what they're good at. Well, technically in this case, you know, it's NetEase that's working on this game. But even though it's NetEase that's working on this game, the gun feel, it's there, right? I, I truly did feel like I was playing a Destiny game on mobile, right? Um, so they did an amazing job really retaining, you know, the feel of the guns, the identity of the guns. I haven't used everything, obviously, I've used like a scout rifle, auto rifle, GL, uh, breech loaded GL, um, but for what I can say, they feel like Destiny guns, and they feel good. You know, the sound design, the feel, all that stuff, it's all there. All of the gun play related stuff that you love from the main game, it's here. And I love that about it. And and that actually is what, that, that kind of plays into uh, the next point that I have about the game is identity. Um, it truly does feel like you're playing a Destiny game, you know, like like another, another Destiny game, if that makes sense. I mean, obviously, because it is another Destiny game. But point is, is the identity still there? Even though it's not the same kind of type of game, obviously the formula is different. You're playing different characters that you're kind of building into and whatnot. Um, uh, but, uh, the, the Destiny identity, it, it's still there, even though it's not specifically your guardian. I mean, I, I guess you can make the point that Wolf, technically, is, like, your guardian, because, you know, you change how he looks and whatnot. Um, but even though the formula is a little bit different, the identity that we all love is still there, and I think that is amazing that they were able to retain that, um, you know, while working on this game. So, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, this is a Destiny game that takes place in a completely different timeline, technically speaking. Um, and it's just really interesting seeing a lot of the same characters that we either saw in the main game, or that we either heard about in the lore, that we actually get to see, like, in the flesh in this game, which is really cool. And not only that, you get to, like, play as, you know, a lot of these characters. Finala. Speaking of uh, Finala, Finale's, I love Finale's Pearl. This isn't about Finale's Pearl. They should bring it back, though. I'd love it if they did that. Iron Banner. That would get me to play Iron Banner more. I mean, I still do sometimes, but why am I going on a tangent about this? This isn't important. Uh, point is, you get to play a lot of these characters that you haven't even really seen in the flesh in the main game in this game. Like, it, it's, it's so cool. Like, being able to actually play these characters is really awesome. Each character is fleshed out, both, like, in the, what I've noticed, like, they play into it really well. So, in this game, um, it's kind of, they said it was kind of during a time where 
Uh, Guardians haven't really been fully, di you know, divided into classes, right? Even though some Guardians are a little bit more leaning towards, oh, this guy's got kind of more Warlockish abilities, this one's got more Hunter abilities, right? Like the main character, Wolf, he's obviously supposed to be, like, Hunter-leaning, obviously. Um, <clears throat> Radagast is supposed to be Titan-leaning, even though he doesn't have moves, I'm just going off of visuals. Point is, um, I think it's really kind of cool how they build that and, you know, shape that into uh, their abilities into the lore, right? Because they said that none of them are, like, really truly shaped into the final shapes of the classes. Um, and something that you'll notice is that, you know, in the main game, you have abilities, throwing knives, all this good stuff. But uh, in this gameplay, each character has a relic, right? You all know what relics are, the Aegis, all that good stuff. You see them in the raids, all that good stuff. But each character has their own relic. And they essentially use the relics to put their, they put their lights into the relics and they get the full, and they're able to really show their strength of their, you know, their light powers, however the hell you want to call it, uh, through the relics versus them just kind of manifesting them out of thin air. They're essentially using them to, I, how do I say it, visualize their powers, right? They make them, it makes their powers more tangible. I could totally be talking on my butt here. Um, but point is, they, I, I love that each character has their own relic that is like fully a part of their identity. It's like really built into their kit. And it, it's just so fascinating to see in this timeline that it's these characters that are using these relics to use their light versus just kind of like, oh, I'm just going to manifest these things out of thin air. They have to kind of use these tools to really take advantage of their abilities, which I just, I just think is the coolest thing ever. And that also really just plays into the next two points. So the character kits and uh, the depth of the character abilities. Uh, like I said, I've only played three of the characters so far. But what I've, you know, from what I've seen of other characters, the characters' kits are like pretty fleshed out. And honestly, there have been stuff that I've seen in this game that makes me wish so badly it was in the main game. So, so badly. Like, uh, Kabir, Kabir has this, you know, this sight and shield that he puts down that you shoot through and it essentially jolts targets. It gives the jolt effect when you shoot through the shield, which is the coolest thing. Or one character that isn't even out yet, but she's almost kind of like a summon class. She can put this thing on targets and then throw out like her little minion and then like the minion will aggro the things that she target, like that she put the, the other thing on. I know I'm doing an A-plus job of describing this, but she's almost kind of like a summon class, sort of. And her super ability, she, like, opens up, like, this hole or portal in the ground, and this giant, like, snake worm comes out. And I have footage in here or somewhere of it. And it, like, shoots this huge beam. And, like, I, I, I saw that, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, when I see that kind of stuff, I'm like, I want to play that character. That is just so cool. The fact that each character has their own identity and their kits have a good amount of depth to them. That just, I love to see. It gives them depth. I just said that. That was so stupid. But the point is, you know what I mean? And that, that adds so much to these characters. And I think that is honestly amazing. You know, when you see these characters' abilities, it, it really shows you that, like, you know, there is probably a character for everybody. You know, somebody who likes a more defensive playstyle. Somebody who likes to get in their face, you know, be in the more the thick of it and all that good stuff. And it, it, it definitely seems like there's a good variety of characters that, you know, with all different kind of playstyles, that there really is something here for everyone. You know, it can kind of keep things fresh and whatnot. So essentially what I'm saying is a lot of different characters, each one is unique, right? It doesn't really seem like one is truly like the other or anything like that. Um, and each one truly has their own kind of style, which I just absolutely love. And for the last two things that I have uh, in the pros, I guess, is that the content, even though at least like the one strike that I'm showing, it definitely seems to be a little bit more on the shorter side, but uh, the content is just good bite-sized content. Something that you could sit down and then, you know, just get a get some good stuff done in 30 minutes or whatever, or if you want to get a strike done in 10 minutes, like it just is good bite-sized content. Like for example, the strike, even though it was a lot shorter, it's still felt like a strike. It still felt like I was playing a strike, you know what I mean? Um, and I think that that's awesome. Uh, but at the same time, the game feels fresh, and it truly does feel like a Destiny, uh, Destiny 1 prequel. 
And I definitely think that this can be the kind of game that you see stuff in this game. You're like, oh my gosh, can they put that in the main game? Like, please, like that is so awesome. And I think that's amazing. And uh, for the last thing, uh, the visuals. They're, they're solid. They're solid, right? I mean, there are certain times I definitely notice in like the social spaces and whatnot. There are certain times where things can get a little bit choppy, a little bit rough around the edges. Um, but once again, maybe that's on my end or for example, in this footage, since I am kind of doing this thing where I'm like plugging it into my computer, I'm kind of sort of projecting it onto the screen and then recording the screen, the resolution in this footage might be like seem to be lower than what it's going to look like when you're, you know, playing it on your phone, for example, on a much smaller screen. Um, but uh, keep in mind, like I said, this is a pre-alpha. So the fact that it even is at this level in such an early build of the game is amazing. And hopefully, you know, by the final version, they optimize it a little bit more, clean things up, and I am just feeling really good about it, honestly. All right. And, well, as for the cons, it's really only a couple things, and they might not even be cons, you know, depending on who you ask. Um, but the first thing that I have is gotcha, right? The more gotcha, uh, kind of like direction that this game is taking, the more gotcha-like mechanics, uh, at least in terms of like pulling for characters and stuff. Um, I could definitely see this being a con for especially people that are coming from the main game, right? Uh, they may not be familiar with this kind of mechanic, or maybe they're just like, you know, they really want a certain character, but you know, obviously, they don't want to throw their wallet out there, right, just to get these characters. Um, definitely something I've noticed, at least in the pre-alpha, they do seem to be pretty generous with pulls and, like, the currency that you can get for pulls. Um, so, at least as of right now, it definitely seems like as long as, you know, you just play the game, it seems like they're going to be pretty generous with the pulls that they give you. So, if you're pretty dedicated and you're playing the game and you're getting all this stuff... Honestly, there's a pretty good chance you should be able to get, you know, a five star, or a five star you want or something like that. Again, I'm still not totally sure uh, because it is, I haven't played, I mean, I played a little bit. Like I said, I'm only like beginning a chapter two right now, so I'm not that far into it. But from what I have seen, it seems that honestly, they're pretty generous, at least comparative to other gotcha games. Um, but uh, if you don't mind the gotcha, you know, the more gotcha style, it, like I said, it might not even be a con. Um, and then another thing is the, the two-weapon mechanic, right? In the main game, <clears throat> a character holds three weapons. Uh, you know, primary, special, primary, primary, special, special, heavy, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, they may th maybe think it waters it down too much, waters it down the gameplay. Uh, if you ask me, I honestly don't mind the two-weapon mechanic because keep in mind, it's a mobile game at the end of the day, right? And I honestly think if you were to throw three weapons that you have to swap between and your relic abilities that you use it might just kind of be a lot for like your average show especially for somebody that maybe didn't play the main game um so if you ask me i don't even really see that as being that much of a con but i could totally understand you know as some people maybe would prefer if they had the traditional three weapons there um and then for the last thing uh is just like I said, the visuals, I guess you can see that'd be kind of like a con. Um, it'd be nice, hopefully. I mean, I, I'm saying hopefully, but I'm almost confident. Like I said, it is a pre-alpha build. It's very early on development. And hopefully, by the final release, they kind of clean things up, optimize it a little bit more, and there you go. I think it'll be looking great, honestly. And, and especially when you take into account that this is pre-alpha, I'm very impressed with it. I'm, I'm very impressed with it. Um, it I honestly feel very good about it, at least going forwards. Um, and, and at the end of the day, I've been having fun with it, right? And if I'm having fun, it, does anything else really matter? To be honest with you, I mean, like, yeah, other stuff matters. But as long as you're having fun, I mean, come on. that That's the, the majority of it, if you ask me. But yeah, so there you go. There are just some of my thoughts on uh, kind of the my first impression, state of the game, or whatnot, and uh, all that good stuff right now. Sorry, I no, I kind of tend to ramble on here. Hopefully, it wasn't too all over the place. Since, like I said, I'm doing this off the cuff. I only got like bullet points here. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, honestly, I'm very optimistic about the game. I'm gonna obviously continue playing the pre-alpha, uh, learning more about it, and. Um, I'm hoping it turns into a game that I play regularly. Um, I'm very optimistic about it. And it's fun, too. I'd recommend it. It's fun. And I know, you know, maybe, 
you know, if you're coming from the main game, maybe you got the attitude where it's like, oh, well, I don't want to play a mobile game or whatever, right? But I say, give it a chance, right? It feels like Destiny. It retains the same style. And honestly, there are some things in this game that I wish were in the main game. So I say, give it a chance. And I'm really looking forward to uh, the future of this game, honestly. So yeah, that's that. Those are my thoughts on the, the game so far. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you made it to this point, you're the best. Hope you have a good one, guys. Thanks.